Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're going to be playing Die in the Dungeon Origins. Now this is the more up-to-date prologue that they've really, uh, recently released. Um, that is supposed to be more up-to-date than the previous prologue that was released, which was just Die in the Dungeon prologue. This one is going to be, this one looks more like how the final version is actually going to look and has and it appears that you know i mean the art style is completely changed everything looks so much better um um i already know kind of how to play but if you guys want to check it uh when you guys get into it if you want to play it yourself it's completely free currently on steam this version um it was literally at the time of this recording it was just released like four days ago so if you guys want to check it out like you know it's you guys can play the tutorial if you want um or you can just kind of watch me and you can kind of figure out how to play from here this is very interesting how they've like everything is completely different now this is really weird as well uh ooh, yeah so everything looks so much nicer now uh, i'm just gonna actually block all of this damn oh wait no i do i need to he's gonna deal three damage to me okay never mind i don't need to block uh much of the damage um, and then, yeah, I can just do that. Take him out. Uh, and we'll get another dice. See, so, yeah, this is the whole game, basically. You go, you collect dice, you get, uh, different dice, ha or different die have different, uh, characteristics. So you have the boost dice, which adds three, or adds a certain number to the value of a, uh, of a another die. But the only problem is, is that with the boost dice, they, um, as you can see before, it's like, if they have a value of one, then the, the die that they're boosting has to be within one square, uh, one square of them, and then, a, a dice, a boost dice of, with a value of two, it has to be, uh, two squares away, three has to be three squares away, and yeah, um, but then you have like mirror dice, which before it could only go up to a f uh, go on, only go up to four, but this time it goes up to six. So there's actually a much larger area, at least uh, in terms of horizontally, it's more stretched. Um, and before it was more of like a um, like a diamond, and now this is more like a. Um, I don't, I don't, I couldn't tell you with these little edges here and stuff. I couldn't really tell you what, what shape it is, but, and, but, and then with the plus two, it's like, there's so many more slots before you could only have like, it would only, there's only like four available slots. Now there's five available slots, which is crazy. Like that is, that is insane. Can't really put that anywhere else. Um, so that's kind of useless. So we're just gonna go for a uh, for an attack, and we're not gonna need to worry about um, being attacked. So yeah, with the three, the three doesn't really have much of a use, um, quite yet. Eventually, it might. Um, ooh, oh, that's ah oh, dang! It's really hoping I could uh, take him out there, but. We'll just do that. He's gonna heal up five, even though he doesn't need to. He just wants to show off, I guess. Uh, show off a little bit. Um. So if I do that, then that becomes a four. Is there any way, like, I could buff it a little bit? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay. Uh, th I think that's probably unnecessary to use the mirror dice at least for the time being maybe later on uh i could go for more mirror dice but i think for now it's kind of unnecessary um you know what i'm just gonna get rid of the mirror dice right now and then hopefully get some stuff that are gonna be a little bit better and there we go we can take them out i just clicked. I wasn't really paying attention to where I was clicking. 
did not mean to click there. Uh, first time uh, facing an event, no worries, I'll explain how they work. I wish the text was a little bit bigger. That's the only thing that I kind of have a little bit of an issue with. Uh, events are encounters where you choose an option and you use your dice to proceed. Options are presented here. Just because of the font, the font makes it a look a little funky uh, because the black outline kind of like, it's very dark. So you kind of have to squint. This text isn't too bad. I, I wish this, there's so much like empty space. So I do wish that these ones were because they, they have room to be made a little bit bigger so I would like to see that in order to select an option you'll first need to fill their slots with suitable dice check that one just to see uh, so I need to drop uh, when hovering over slots your suitable dice will be highlighted this depends on the slot requirements slot requirements can range between certain types like attack properties like glass or nothing at all now you might be thinking how do i know which option to choose easy just ho hover over them so i need okay uh, if the total roll is three or more, choose between three common relics. If the total roll is less than three, trigger battle. Oh, okay. Uh, well, to answer that, let's fill those slots first. Drag the dice from your deck into the slots. So I can put that there. And then put, like, that there. Right, now we're ready to select the option, but something is missing. See that yellow marker at the top? That's the target roll of this event. When selecting an option, the place dice will be a roll. If their total roll reaches the target, roll will succeed. Let's proceed. Let, well, I mean, it's going to be a six, so I mean, it's got a guarantee, yeah. Total roll is equal or greater than the target roll, so you can now receive your reward. And that's about it. But wait, that was too easy. Let's see how you do on your own. Okay. Moving on from this quick little tutorial, I guess. Look for something of value. Just between three. Silver dice. Okay, well. If I want to guarantee a win, all I have to do is put my, uh... Put this dice here. Nice. Uh, seems like you got the gist of it. Now you're on your own. But remember, click me if you ever need help. Okay. If you use three or more different types of dice, draw a plus one dice next turn. Target enemy receives minus one to all their attacks. All dice receive plus one to the value on odd turns and minus one on even turns. I think I'd rather that, where they lose one uh, attack. This is this is amazing. I I genuinely am loving this game so much already. Like, there's so much new stuff that's been added. So I can just heal and attack. So I'll just attack and then heal up and then I'll be back up to full health. Uh, we'll get one new one. Um, Prism. When targeted, extends the targeting effects to its own tar- Wait, what? Extends the target to its own targets. Interesting, okay. Hey, slow down for a moment. This enemy is special. See that icon over there? Icons like that indicate the enemy has a modifier. Come on, hover over it. Oh, infected. Modifiers change the way enemies behave. They can modify their actions. The board or even the way they need to be killed. Uh, yeah, I've seen that before. Reduces, uh, okay, so infected. Reduces by minus one the value of dice placed in the slot. The enemy will infect a random slot on the board at the start of the turn. Interesting, okay. When you encounter a new enemy, uh, be sure to hover over it to learn a bit more about its behavior. Knowledge is power. Fair enough. So which slot is it going to infect? That one? Okay, that's not a big deal. Two damage, eh, a little obnoxious, but it's fine. Do a four damage, it will block two. It'll be fine. Oh! Oh, it just, it keeps going. Oh, no. I see, okay. 
That's a problem. So yeah, you have to cover this thing with dice. Okay. I see. I see, I see, I see. I'll do that then. Oh, get- go away! Stop infecting my freaking rolls! It's fine, I'll just take him out. Okay, upgrade two dice to silver tier. So this thing seems interesting, so I'll upgrade that to silver. Um, I'll upgrade one of the boost dice as well. I like- I like using those. And it go- it can go up to four, which is insane. Because before it didn't used to be able to go up to four. E4 didn't used to be able to go up to four. Sorry. Um, so I think I can just do that. Um, do I want to do that though? Probably. Yeah, I'll do that. Just try to block a bit of the damage. I'll take, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll take one damage, but it's fine. See, that, that is, that is interesting. Okay. That is very interesting. I think I want to take out this guy sooner. So yeah, that drops it down to that, but then that would up it to five. I could actually just block it instead. Because I'd gain six. That would be two, three, five. Or do I just want to try to take him out? I think I just want to try to take him out. So I'll take the 5 damage, it's fine. I just need to take out this guy. I think that's I think that's uh, the goal to have right now. Let's just take out this guy. Because he is he is very dangerous. That guy's getting pretty dangerous too, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Um See, now, I could just take him out. But I think I want to block first. The reason for that being... That I want... Um... I want to be able to heal without it getting disrupted. Uh, so he's gonna, yeah, okay. Well, I can just do that and take him out. Just fully take him out. Either that or I could block instead. I think I'll block instead. So then I don't take any damage at all. And then I can have a three. Take him out. And block all the rest of the damage. Okay. Trying to play this strategically, but not sure how well that's working. Do I lose all my. So you actually lose all of your block, which is something new. Because before you didn't actually lose all your block, you kept your block even after like each turn. Dice in hand get plus one at the end of the turn, these dice will reset after use. Dollar is when dice with the flash property are used. I'm gonna go with that. Give them plus one each time. Can you go above six? That's something to consider. Um, that guy's gonna be annoying. Yeah, this thing doesn't even have... Okay. Is there any way I can have him, like, there? Any way I can have him there? I can have him there. I wish I could, like... Or whatever. Like, if I attack, that's really not gonna do anything. 
So let me do that instead. Um, yeah, that infected thing is really starting to get annoying. Okay, at least can do that. I'm gonna just have to kind of tank a bit of damage, I think. I don't think I have a choice. Okay, let's run at the end of the turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'll gain two block. So, in the end, I might end up taking plus three anyway, so it's fine. Um, dice in hand, get plus one at the end of the turn. Is it, I guess it's, it's up to like their max, I guess, is how much they get dealt. Okay. A little annoying, but it's fine. Um, let me just do that then. You know what, I, I'll just take out that guy. Because why not? So then all I'm left is with is this guy and with enough time I'll be able to take him out so I'm not I'm not too worried I want to get a lot of healing Ooh, 10 10 healing would be real good yeah, you know what? Give me that 10 heal. My gosh, stop. Just stop. That's all I gotta say. Just stop. Okay. Get it eventually. There we go. Now we're good. Healed up a good amount as well, which I, I think is a good thing. I definitely say that's a good thing. A silver attack leaves a plus four boost on the slot. It is used on. Ooh. What does Flash do? The action will happen immediately after placing the dice on the board. Oh. That seems really cool. The terrain dice seems really. Okay. I wish to be stronger. Uh, choose between two relics. Wish to be safer. Uh, wish for nothing. Well, can, can I just... Oh... But it gets doubled. Oh, okay. So it has to be an attack or a block. Yeah, so I have to. Okay. I wouldn't. I don't have a chance for these. Even if they're doubled, I still don't have a chance. So I just have to kind of go for that. Boost uh, dice will gain plus one when all available target slots have dice on them. Gain plus one block for every die in your hand at the end of your turn. I'm gonna go with that. I think it'll be pretty easy to fill up their slots. If I put it in like a in a good spot where it's like like only two like two slots like right there, you could have like like something like that and then it boosts it by one. So that seems good. So I'll, I would gain four from that. I wish it would be better, but yeah, it's fine. We'll do. We'll go with that. We'll go down that route. Yeah, this thing is really frustrating, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. If I could pull that off, that would be really cool, but... Now that is a, a plus 13 is crazy. Oh, jeez. So 
It's not even necessary, though. I can just do that. Oh, yeah, and that game's plus plus. Oh, my gosh. I could just do that. Jeez, yeah. I'll just immediately take him out. That is amazing. Sadly, it's not, like, a permanent. But... Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna save that combo. Um... I'm definitely saving that combo for the end. Because that's gonna get me to full health. Yeah, that will 100% get me to full health. Um, if I do that, I, okay, I don't even need to... I could just block instead. Okay, I'll do that. Because I'll get to full health and I'll still be able to block. And then I can um, just do that. And just block. Jeez, that is, that's crazy. That terrain dice is actually really nice. Um, I'm gonna get rid of one of my basic attack, because I don't really- I don't need three of them, I don't feel like. Like, I feel like two is probably enough. Ooh. Yeah, if I can get that up to a plus four, that would be really nice. Um. Or does that- that is boosted by that. That's right, okay. So I can actually boost that with that. And oh my gosh, and boost that up to a 10? What is what do you do? The action are based on the dice you use this turn. Okay. So now they have plus four or something? So yeah, now that's a plus ten. That is like that is crazy. Yeah, I just immediately take out that guy. Wow! Yeah, all of this is absolutely insane at this point. Jeez. Like, I don't even really need... That terrain dice is crazy. All I gotta do is this. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just... Do that. Take him out and heal at the same time and just... Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is insane. I don't know if I want to upgrade those to silver now that I'm kind of... Now that I think about it. Um, I might go with my attack instead. I'll attack... Oh, I'll upgrade my attack. Get close and examine it. Tain Moon, uh, Chakram, Relic. Two rare relics. Well, is this better? What do I need for that? I need a heavy? Oh, I don't have any heavy. Oh, oh. So I need, I would need a seven or more, and all I have is a six. Ooh, I would need a f blast it. Lose half HP. Well, we're going for this. A sick. Oh, come on. The chances of that. There was a 1 in 6 chance that I got a 2. Come on. That's so annoying. Oh my gosh. I actually have to take out this guy. Uh, this turn has dealt any damage. Yeah, I have to take out this guy because he is. Because otherwise, he's gonna deal a crap ton of damage to me. I can deal. I can deal 18. Okay, I'll take it. Losing half my HP is actually so annoying. So can I um. Is 
there any way I get them both to like benefit? I don't think so. No, that definitely doesn't. Okay. Then let me see what the best slot is for it. Probably there. Yeah, that well that's that's actually that actually works out very well. Okay. But he's gonna Oh wait, I don't have enough HP for this. Crap. Oh no. I'm gonna I have to do that. This guy is... Okay. This guy actually is... I, like, that guy up there is very dangerous. You take out that guy, so then I can worry more about these guys. Because apparently that's my biggest issue right now. And that will go up to a 9. Okay. Right? That becomes a boosted of 9. Yep, okay. And that blocks for 6. Yeah, I'm just gonna block for 6. Heal for... Heal for a good amount and then block for 6. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll just take it now. Yeah, I can, I mean, I literally can just do whatever at this point. Okay. At least I have some of my HP back. If there are no attack dice on the board at the end of your turn, deal 2 damage. The dice placed on the corner slots receive plus 1 to their value if not next to any other dice. Sure. On the corner slots? What do you, I mean... Like on the edges? Or these corners? Where what are considered corners? These are considered corners. Okay. And these are considered Okay, so just like all these edges, but this is considered a dice to do but Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Okay, okay. I am understanding the issue here. Uh, I can't, I can't read what this says, okay, because this is covering, there we go, while live we'll keep a dice on the board, wait, no, that's just saying for the, I, okay, yeah, whatever, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, you know what, it's fine. um, jeez, this is annoying. Um, because I'm going to take 9 damage. Is there nothing else I can really do? I don't think so. Either way, I'm taking 7 damage. Unless I do, like... Yeah, unless I do that... Why doesn't that... I guess it... Okay. I guess. Whatever. Either way, it's 7 damage block, so I'm just gonna go with that, I think. I just have to kind of tank the damage, because I don't... Don't have a good way of not... Taking a ton of damage. Seven more damage? Great. Just what I needed. Okay. Let's take out that guy, I guess. That's only become seven. Okay. That becomes eight. 
But that's 12, and I don't have enough HP for that. Gosh. Ooh, 11. Okay, that just... That just barely saves me. I have 1 HP. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's a way on winning this. No, there definitely is not. I am 100% dead here. Wow, okay. Ah. Yeah, so in 2024 is when the full version's coming out. Ah, jeez. That was fun, though. That This game, I'm, I'm loving to see the new update and stuff. Like, all the new stuff that they've added. I uh, love, you know, you have relics and stuff now. I love the new uh, system of how you, like, go through those um, random events. Or you have to put in the dice and it has to roll and add up to a certain number. That is so sick. I, I genuinely do love that so much. That is really cool. Um, yeah, I am uh, I'm really excited for this. And I, I honestly do believe you guys should be too. So, my name's Sam. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.